Well, friends, where does our help come from? Our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Our help is in Jesus Christ, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I wanted to share with you one of my favorite little details from the Gospels today. I wanted to share it with you because sometimes it's in these tiny little details of stories that God gives us something that that assures us and holds us. This little detail is from the story of the transfiguration. And that's the story where Jesus has gone up on the mountaintop and he's been clothed in glorious white. His, His face is shining. And Peter, James, and John are so terrified by Jesus transfigured that they fall on their face before him. They're terrified. And then Jesus does something to alleviate their terror, to take away their fear. This is what he does. The disciples fell face down to the ground, terrified. But Jesus came and touched them. Get up, he said, and don't be afraid. I love the fact that Jesus didn't just say to the disciples, don't be afraid. I love it that he touched them as a way to convey his love. Maybe he put a firm hand on Peter's shoulder. Maybe he gently rubbed John's head as a way to say, don't worry guys, I'm here. Touch, physical touch, is an important part of faith. Jesus often touched the people he healed. He didn't just speak a word he would go over and physically touch them so that they would know his reassurance and healing. And at the resurrection, maybe you remember, some of the disciples weren't sure that Jesus was real. And he said, come on, on, guys, touch me. A ghost would not have flesh as I do. I miss the physical touch part of our faith right now. This live stream is great. I'm so glad we have devotions and different ways of connecting. But I miss seeing your faces. And more than that, I miss shaking hands after church. And I miss getting a hug every once in a while. I feel the lack of those things. I feel like a man who's gone out of the house on a very cold day without his hat and gloves. It's like part of my faith is missing. Something's incomplete. When we finally come back together again in this pandemic time, Will we be able to shake hands, hug each other? I don't know. I mean, quite probably the answer to that is no. But honestly, right now, I would settle for an elbow bump with any one of you just for the joy of seeing you face to face. Until then, receive the parting blessing and maybe today, receive it as a virtual hug. And if a hug isn't your thing, maybe a virtual elbow bump. Friends, may the peace of Christ go with you wherever you may be. May he guide you through the wilderness and protect you through the storm. May he fill you with thanksgiving at the wonders he has shown you. And may he bring you home rejoicing, face to face, elbow to elbow, again once more. Amen.